Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Pastor Matt here with your daily RPM. Hope you're having a great day. Hey, this week we're speaking about the statements that Jesus made while he was on the cross. One of my very favorite statements in the entire Bible. Jesus is on the cross and he looks out at the Roman soldiers who had put him there, who had put the nails on his hands and feet, who had spit upon him, yanked out his beard and put the crown of thorns on him. They'd whipped him and were making fun of him while he was there suffering. And he looks out and he says this, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Oh, the love, the mercy, the compassion of Jesus. I can look at that two ways today. Number one, the way God looks at us. I don't know about you, but most of us have dropped the ball a few times. Most of us have messed up. We've sinned. We've missed the mark. And I want you to know, even at your worst day, God says, I forgive you. And the second thing I want to think about with this is our attitude toward others. How many times have we, when we've been wronged by somebody, want to see them hung on a cross or want to see bad come to them? And man, if Jesus forgave those Roman soldiers and he forgave you and forgave me, we need to be willing to forgive and not hold people hostage by the sin in their life. We need to pursue the ministry of reconciliation and love and forgiveness. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And I think, sure, whether it's in traffic, it's a business deal, or someone ripped you off, maybe, I want to encourage you, forgive them. I used to have to sell cars for a living. And I'm reminded, I was new in my career. I didn't know what I was doing. And car salesmen can have a bad rap. And you just get beat up all day long. People come in and they're kind of mean to you. And I had this sweet little African-American lady come in. And she was buying a car for her granddaughter. And she looked at me, and she had the most sweetest eyes. And you could tell she was a born-again believer. And she said, sir, I hope you make a good commission on this. I want you and your family to be blessed. And you know, that changed my whole month. That was so sweet. I remember this to this day almost 20 years later. And I want you to know today, we need to have a heart for people that says, I love you, I forgive you, and I want you to be blessed. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, like and share, and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.